Right, so when you come and see me for a lesson, I test and measure. So one of the tests I do here is called a grip test, and we determine what your right hand grip or trail hand grip will be in the swing. So a client came in and saw me yesterday. I swing back. See as he swings back. Right elbow tucks and doesn't sort of go past the seam line. Elbow, right elbow is lower than the left. And then you've got myself over here and I swing back. See how the elbow goes back and up. Two very different patterns. We cannot have the same grip. Very different patterns. See how my shoulder is already steeper. Here's a flat. Right elbow is tucked and my right elbow goes back and behind me. I'm a fade player. The client on the right is a draw player. So you're going to see a golf coach for a lesson. See if you test your grip because everyone grips it differently. So there's five different types of grips that you can use with your right hand grip. The majority of people will fall into three of them called a side under, which will be Zach Johnson, Dustin Johnson, a side on grip, which will be Justin Rose, Tiger Woods. And then you'll have a cover grip, which will be Rory McIlroy, myself. So there's all these different patterns. So which one are you? There's no need to guess. You can test and measure. So here's the client. There's the grip test. So it determines what happens. See how the right elbow folds and the right palm is facing upward a little bit. Okay, so then you get to his actual swing. Right hand, right elbow folds, palm facing upward. Club's nearly on the ball line, so it's a bit shallower, going back. Shoulder turn isn't too steep. All starts to match the pattern. Go back to the beginning. See what the right elbow folds. Right elbow folds and tucks under. Left forearm rolls away from the ball. So draw pattern is his pattern here. So he's easier to hit draws than fade the ball. There you go, shallows it, comes in, goes through. Now you have my grip test. Very different. Elbow goes back and behind me, and hands go closer to the body. Elbow goes back and behind me, hands are closer to the body. <coughs> Shaft plane becomes steeper. Not everyone needs to be in line point in the ball. So there's different variations for different grip types. See how my elbow has worked differently. There we go. That's how my elbows work. So all of a sudden you'll draw a line across now. That's the way my elbows look. Shaft dance this one. This is more more predominantly a fade pattern. So that's why you test and measure. So side by side, we're going different. So swing on the left is called a side under grip. So his right elbow is going to tuck a little bit earlier going back and the club's going to go around the body more. Mine on the right, I'm a side cover golfer. So I'm a fade pattern. Gentleman on the left is a draw pattern. So all of a sudden the takeaways are completely different, aren't they? Club head, mine, club head's outside the hands. The right elbow is way higher than the left if you're looking in that position. Shoulders are already steeper. Swing on the left, the club head's behind the hands. Elbows look a lot level, so does the shoulder turn. Then it takes back a bit further back, so halfway back. Here's shaft plane. Closer more to the ball line. 
left forearm has rotated clockwise. Mine has gone the other way. See how my left elbow is pointing more down. His left elbow is pointing more out here. It steepens or shallows the shaft plane. So my elbow tucks, left elbow tucks under, steepens the shaft plane. You get this position here. different positions <coughs> at the top. <coughs> My elbow's higher up and behind me. His is closer to his shoulder there and then coming down. He's going to be slightly under the plane that way. I'm going to be more on top. His left arm is further away from the body. Mine's closer to the body. The right hip, right elbow is on the hip. His right elbow is in front of the hip. So then you have different release patterns going through. I finish taller up on the follow through this way. He's more inside bent. So different release patterns. So as you see, you come down. Very different. My shaft just above the right bicep. His is on the bicep. So... I can't get to his position, nor should I. There's your differences here, or in between frames. Right shoulder's higher for me. An impact here, his right shoulder's lower. Release through, there's the finish different finish positions. So that's why we test and measure. Okay, here's the other test we do, the pivot test. Put the club on your legs, turn your hips to the right. See how your right leg straightens and your left knee sort of comes down to the ball? And then if I draw a line on your right hip, as you turn back, you come off the line slightly. Now look at your swing over here. Looks very different different pivot isn't it so I've just told you on the right here I've just told you to put the club against your legs turn to the right and that's what you get so now as we swing back the other top of the back swing that looks very different doesn't it see how you have flexion in the right knee there no flexion there so we call you a front pivot so what generally happens is you do have some weight shift to the right you do have a little bit of weight shift to light, but generally you'll want to push into your left leg earlier in the swing than most people. So if we then match these up together, and you'll see the dynamics of the pivot. Very different. So on the right is what we've got to gravitate towards. Okay, so swing on the right's your first swing, swing on the left's your second swing. Difference in pivots there, isn't it? So, very different. So if we zoom in, right knee flex, right knee straighter. That's one thing. Second thing was the gap oops, on the hips. So if we go back here, draw a line on that right hip, draw a line on that right hip. Didn't do my lines too good. Different way the body works. So that looks a lot, lot better. It looks like you can smash it now. And then all of a sudden, look at the difference in transition. Look at that. That looks athletic. That's really good. Going through it. 